Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a growing IT job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. I'm going to in this video, I'm going to give you a list of core Java interview questions that I picked up. These are all very very important Java interview questions that you should be prepared even before you enter the interview room. And I have marked in red color few terms that you should be aware of as a Java developer. Let's see a few questions here. What is the difference between interface and abstract class? Very important. What is the purpose of garbage collection? How exactly uh, garbage collection internally works inside the JVM? And describe synchronization in respect to multithreading. If two threads are accessing a shared variable, what exactly happens? And how do I avoid using Java using synchronized keyword? What are what are pass by reference and pass by value? And what is Java internally uses? It is passed by value okay so they might give you an example what is the difference between ash map and ash table what is the difference between vector and, ar and array list what is static keyword in java uh, platform independence why java is called uh, platform independence how it's able to work in windows and linux machines what exactly the role of jvm in platform independence okay what is the difference between jdk jvm singleton class why why do we need it and how can i achieve singleton class in java you can mark the uh, the constructor as a private and there are a lot of things you can do to make a class singleton you can achieve in java what is finalized method what is exception checked exception and runtime exceptions okay uh, what is the importance when to use what when throws keyword is used what is the purpose the next question is how finally used in exception handling why do we need a finally if I don't use finally what will happen what is polymorphism define immutable object how can I achieve immutable object in Java you have to you should not provide any setter methods you should mark here instance variables as final okay um, what is comparable interface comparator and comparable interface and uh, explain the java program so you should know the each keyword what exactly it means void main static public what is static block whenever you whenever a class uh, is loaded whenever a class is loaded uh, 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 the static block will be called okay what is function overloading for overriding what is final class what is the importance of final class final class is like I don't want anyone to extend my class uh, this is the last implementation I want to give I don't want anyone any developer to extend my class that's where a uh, final class comes into picture what is null point exception what invokes threads run method okay so the exception in catch statements does it matter the order matters yes of course it matters the the base class will should be at the last and the subclasses should be at the at the top what is the difference between yielding and sleeping uh, what is the difference between reader writer and input stream output stream reader writer is for file and input stream for bytes stream of bytes images reading for images something like that okay uh, what is serialization and deserialization deserialization is converting your object uh, state of an object into a flat file you can write a f into a flat file or a database or you can even send to a uh, wire through socket programming what is the difference between constructor and other methods sleep and wait transient variable this comes into picture whenever serialization if you want to uh, if you don't want to apply serialization process for a particular variable you can use transient so the serialization process will be skipped what is synchronization uh, static modifier in the main method difference between error and exception very important java and question what are synchronized methods and synchronized statements where and how can you use a private constructor describe the life cycle of a thread what are geni why generics are used what is the importance importance of uh, generics and what's the benefit you will be getting why strings are immutable very very important Java and questions uh, string constant pool why do I need uh, immutable uh, why need uh, why do you need an import immutable object because it's thread safety and internally you can you you can use utilize the memory how to make Java class immutable synchronization object level clocking and class level locking class level locking comes into picture whenever you lock a synchronized method whenever you mark a synchronized static method a class level locking applied object level is instant synchronized method okay 
so very very important this question is very very important because object level locking and class level locking you should be aware of how to uh, override uh, equals and cache code what is the importance if you don't override properly you might get duplicate objects in your collection um, so there might be questions like if I override equals and I don't override hash code what happens if I override hash code and if I don't override equals method what happens what exactly happens okay so static fields what happens in a serialization process observer observable out of memory error and class loader marker interface okay uh, what are the different types of memory areas in JVM so internally you should know um, how exactly heap stack what is the users who use of it and what is the purpose these are the important java interpretations that i picked up very very important core java interpretations if you prepare this it will be really helpful for your interview hope this video is useful for your interview thank you for watching this video and all the best for your interview this video is from interview.com at growing job portal thank you